think this is a very bad move. I mean, what students are going to say is, why are the fees so high? It's not, you know, because the money is going to go to the universities. Most money, most universities will have to charge seven thousand pounds simply to replace the cut in teaching grant they're getting from the government. So that's what's going on here. Instead of higher education being a partnership between the taxpayer and the individual student, in future students are going to be responsible for paying the whole cost of their degree. And obviously students as well, employment and in terms of going into jobs, that could become effective potentially. Well, that's the real worry here, and for people who because people will go on being graduates, I'm sure. People are going to be paying this mainly for 30 years. The very well off, the people who go to the high flying city jobs, they will soon clear their debts. But most people who go into ordinary graduate jobs will be paying 9% of their income above the threshold for the next 30 years. That's a huge burden on people. Do you think this will put students off and youngsters, young people, from going to university? Well, I think that we've got to be careful about saying people will simply stop going. Undoubtedly, some people won't go at all who would have done. That's clear. My other worry is that people will say, I could go to that university, but it's got the most expensive fees, so I'll go to this university. It's not as good for me. It's not really what I want to do, but I've got to shop around for the cheapest course. I'd like to think that students could look at university and only ask the question, which is the right university and the right course for me? Do you think it's also kind of two disadvantages for students? Uh, the, number one, the rise in fees, but number two, the public sector cuts made by the coalition government. Are they too heavy in your opinion? I think it is crazy to cut 80% of the f courses of the funding for 80% of the courses in higher education. Universities like Winchester will lose nearly all of their income. So they'll have no money coming in at all unless they can attract the students prepared to pay these new higher fees. It's the wrong way to do it. There shouldn't have been such deep, deep cuts and then you wouldn't have had to have fees so high. And obviously uh, Labour now under the leadership of Ed Miliband. How do you see Labour driving forward now into a new era? Well, I think there's three things that we would like to see that are different to this. The first is, let's keep a partnership between the graduate paying something and the taxpayers paying something. The second thing, let's not end up in a market where students have to choose the cheapest course rather than the one that's right for them. And thirdly, let's have a system where everybody pays fairly, not a system where the richest graduates pay less than their fair share of the cost of higher education. And the term that's been often used is the big society. I, I watched you speak at the Labour Party conference a few weeks yeah. ago. You, you talked about involving councillors and Labour politicians all together. Is that very much part of the Labour mandate? Yeah, I mean, the idea of a big society is a very attractive one. What's wrong about it is the idea that you can simply take the public sector away and then all the volunteers will rush forward. In a really good society, you have good public services and you have people prepared to give of their own time and their own effort. That's what I want to see. If you go back to higher education, they're now saying you're completely on your own. The public sector's withdrawing almost entirely from this. That's wrong. Finally, look at your, at your Southampton itching constituency. Have you had constituents come in and perhaps been worried about potential job risk or students even relating to you? I think right across the constituency, people are really worried about how the cuts are going to hit them. People know that it hasn't really started yet, but it's just around the corner. But I've already met people, not just in the obvious jobs, but architects, for example, who were employed on the Building Schools for a Future programme. Those contracts have been ended. There's a health centre in Bitten, which where they're now talking about closing the services. But the really big impact is yet to come. And I think right across the city, people are worried about how it's going to feel to them. Thanks for your time, John. Okay, thank you.